Our final award for the evening is the International Rolleston Award. The, this award was first presented actually at the third, the third International Conference on the Reduction of Drug-Related Harm, which I think is what we used to have to call it in order to get it funded. Um, <laughs> presented in Melbourne in 1992. This is a real legacy award for us. And it's given to an individual group or organization that has made an outstanding contribution to harm reduction at an international level. Um, now we had an, an incredible array of nominations for this, but the absolutely outstanding one was the nomination for the Ukrainian activists, organizations and service providers maintaining and continuing services throughout the Russian invasion of Ukraine. So please come up. I feel that, that uh, I need just to name the, the cities from which our activists came. And you've seen it in the news and very horrible pictures you could imagine. It's Kharkiv, Poltava, Donetsk, Kyiv, Kyiv region. And this all people uh, from Ukrainian harm reduction organization, doctors and nurses, uh, in the situation of war aggression started in 2014 and scaled up um, absolutely, awfully, in, in 2022. Uh, this all people providing services, providing true harm reduction. We are back to understanding of harm reduction as a comprehensive approach, which include evacuation of people from bombing shelters, providing shelters, providing food, providing um, food and, and sleeping bags for kids and families. And that's all done by nurses, doctors, harm reduction activists in the, under the bombing, under missile attacks. And it's not stopped. Every day, our husbands, brothers and sisters are under the risk of being killed, being soldiers, pro protecting the country, or being civilians, just living in the country. And I need to say that this fight of Ukraine against this evil empire, Russian empire, is the fight for human rights. It's the fight for non-repressive drug policy. It's a fight for freedom of all people in Eastern Europe and Central Asia, and we all understand this very clearly. And I need to say that these people, and not only these people, it's hundreds and thousands of people, outreach workers, psychologists, who are meeting people in the, in the mental health crisis, meeting people in the, in the desperate situation, providing help. We are all felt this unity. We are all felt this true solidarity these days. And we, we are grateful to all global community harm reduction community for this global solidarity. And despite the fact that the war is not ended and we will need to win this war, we believe in this, uh, in this uh, victory, we need to free all our people who captured, like Maxim Butkevich who is captured in, in the prison, uh, human rights activists working for, for our community. We need to free all these people. And actually, today is, is our Easter. And we are saying, Christ is risen and Ukraine will raise. And <laughs> now, now, now we will ask you first to stay with us, to remember all the people who died in this war. Unfortunately, there will be many more before we will win this terrible war. And as our anthem is saying, Ukraine 
haven't died yet. You, Ukraine will survive. And we will sing a bit of our anthem. Please support us in, with, with this. Як роса на сонці Запануєм і ми, браття, У своїй сторонці Душу й тіло ми положим За нашу свободу І покажем, що ми, браття, Козацького роду. Слава Україні! Героям слава! So that, um, that brings our opening ceremony to an end. It is absolutely a joy to be here with all of you. Let's bring some of that strength and solidarity down to the exhibition space um, and enjoy our time together. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs>